Hello there, Max Torno here and in this video you're going to learn that your past does not define you. Regardless of your feelings that may tell you that you're not good enough, regardless of what people might have told you in the past, regardless of what people may tell you right now. So if you feel like you might not be good enough, if you feel like you know success is meant for someone else, you're meant for something more mediocre and most importantly if you're having troubles letting go of the past of the rejections and the pain that you might have experienced in the past then this video is for you so if this resonates with you at the end of the video uh, you're gonna have a little bit better of an insight on why your emotions of the past are still controlling you and how you can get over that and we'll also talk about the logical understanding of how you can step out of that being constantly in the past and you can look at the present moment the actions that you can take right now so you can build yourself a nice future. So if that resonates with you, let's get started. Have you ever wondered whether there's more to life than a boring dead-end nine-to-five job? Have you ever dreamed about breaking free, you know, traveling the world, making good money, and just enjoying life? No more office dress code, no morning commute, no boss. This channel is for you. So here's to your freedom. All right, so first things first, this is not my car got to be transparent it's a rental car I'm literally in my hometown I can show you this is where I grew up in very lucky gotta say somewhere down there is why I grew up in you actually used to go snowboarding here on this mountain and uh, you know ever since I'm starting to travel around and you know ever since my very first business uh, has you know taken off so well I get to go a lot more snowboarding here and it's absolutely beautiful but the reason why I wanted to shoot this video was the following I was actually driving through my hometown on the way up here I'm on a little vacation and I didn't even fully plan to do this video I wanted to just share this with you right now because I feel like I would have never thought growing up in this 5,000 people cow town that isn't really the hot spot of possibilities that I would get to a point where I can literally live the exact life that I've always dreamed of you know, so I get to travel, I get to help a lot of people, I get to have cool people looking up to me, I get to see epic drone airplanes. I'm not sure if you can see that up here. I'm very grateful for this life. And I really want you to understand this, that regardless of where you come from, it doesn't matter. I get a lot of people messaging me, for example, on my Instagram, and they say things like, oh, you know, but I'm from this and that town. I'm from this and that village. I'm from this and that country. What, what can I do? And I'm like, what, what the hell are you talking about? In, in, the, in the, the, the world of internet, it doesn't matter what you're growing up in. And that was exactly the same for me. I'm telling a little bit from my perspective because it's probably something that you can resonate with. So in my early 20s, um, you know, I was about to make decisions on what I want to be doing for the rest of my life. And, you know, in my hometown, all that you usually hear is, you know, do something proper, boy, right? Go, go to school, then go learn a job and then go stay at that job and, you know, get 2.1 kids and 1.5 cars. And that's it. That's life. And that's really the, the mindset that's predominant in, 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 you know, such, in such environments. And... I felt like I don't want this. I felt like, you know, maybe it was arrogance, maybe it was naivety. Hey, there, there's gotta be more to life. And maybe again, you can resonate with this. I, I'm assuming that because you're watching this channel. And like I said, this village isn't necessarily the hotspot of possibilities. So the first realization that I made was, hey, hold on a second, it doesn't matter where I'm from anymore because as long as I have internet, it doesn't matter, right? And with my very first business, the dating advice and uh, personal development business that has made me a millionaire by the age of 26, so I was already making money way before this business, um, I kind of realized like, hey, I could do this thing online. And you know, I traveled around, I saw other places, I came back here to go snowboarding and it was a very nice thing to do. So first things first, it doesn't matter where you come from and where you grew up in because the internet has made this amongst very other things, very, very amazing. Right. The other thing is that let's step a little bit more into your past emotions of people telling you that you might not be good enough. I feel like when I grew up as a relatively uh, loud child, a relatively uncalibrated child, I would get a lot of bad time from my teachers. I would be told that, you know, I'm not fitting in. I would be told that I don't have discipline. I would be told that I'm not paying attention. I would be told that I'm not good enough. And maybe you resonate with this as well. What does school tell us? The school 
tell us, hey, there's a deficit, let's go work on it, or the school tell us, you failed the exam. You are inappropriate. Don't run out on the grass. Stay on your path. You're a student. Shut up. Sit down. Don't think outside the box, right? The school system has failed so many of us because it's very outdated. It's it's meant to kind of like uh, uh, make us, you know, uh, clogs in the wheel, make us workers and not step up. And then, of course, when we do want to step up in life, what is the echo that we have in our brain? You're not good enough. You failed. You are not appropriate. You are not fitting in. So we're literally being brought up as these like as these like people who are supposed to, you know, rot away in cubicles in an office job. And at the same time, we're being told if you want to step up, it's inappropriate and it's not good. And that echo is still in our brain. And maybe you have those thoughts as well. Maybe you've tried to step up before. Maybe you've announced to your friends. Maybe you've announced to your family, hey, you know, maybe I want to do my own business. Maybe I want to start traveling. Maybe I want to do something that is just a tiny little bit outside of the norm. And what is it that you usually get back usually get people telling you, no, don't do it. It's too risky. You're not good enough. You cannot do that and so on and so forth. And what you're being told right now is being amplified by the echo that is still in your brain. What you have to realize is just purely logic. Where you've been and what people have told you does not define where you can go. All right, simple example, I walked over there from the car, I walked over here. Just because I was earlier in the car doesn't mean I couldn't go here. I simply put in the necessary action. What was the necessary action? Moving my feet, moving my mouth, speaking to this video. And I've had something very, very similar. This is, by the way, a, a paraglider starting ramp. It's pretty cool. Uh, should I jump in? Pretty cold, water coming straight from the mountains. Ha! It's usually freezing, but I'll vote, vote. Almost lost my shoe there. I've had something very, very similar on a, on a call yesterday with one of my clients. And, um, and he said, Max, Max, uh, I'm having troubles. I'm making 10K a month, but I want to make 20K a month. What is your mindset? Your mindset, Max. I'm, I feel like I'm not good enough. Bah, 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 bah. And I said, dude, relax. I literally call some of my clients, dude. Um, it's not the mindset that is making you scale from 10K to 20K. You're not going to magically mindset your $10,000 a month plus. It's not going to happen. Think logic. This is the real world, goddammit. What you got to do is you got to implement the right actions. You got to message the right clients. You got to get the clients on the phone and you got to close, right? You got to physically do the right things, move your mouth, say the right words. Just like my mindset, I didn't need a mindset to step from the car to here. I needed to physically do the exact right steps. Now, of course, mindset can matter a little bit when you're self-sabotaging yourself. But if you literally have a proven path and you just got to implement these things, it doesn't matter what's going up up there, right? It doesn't matter what's going on up there. And that's exactly the same that I've been dealing with for my entire life. Do you think, do you think I'm waking up and I'm like, I am so great. The world is mine. I am the best. No. If you think I don't have self doubts, if you think I don't have moments where I feel lost, then you're wrong. I have that all the time. And the max that grew up in this 5,000 people cow town in Austrian Alps is still the same that is up here. The only thing that has changed is I didn't let what's going on up here keep me from physically taking the right steps. If I want to go up the mountaintop here, somewhere over here, what keeps me from doing that? Do I need a mindset to step that up or do I just need to shut the hell up and move my feet? Maybe I need a proven path, right? I don't want to climb up these cliffs here. That might be dangerous. Maybe I want to take a path that has been put there by people who have ascended the, the mountain already, right? But even there, do I need to have a proper mindset to climb that up or do I just need to execute these things? And if I, here's the beautiful thing. Okay, so I hope on the logical side you understood it. I hope that your, your emotions do not define you and that your past does not define you. And here's the beautiful thing. Every goddamn time I'm coming back to my hometown, it puts me back into my old mind. It puts me back into this, holy cow, is this even real? 
I grew up here. I've had my teenage years here. I had my teenage angst here. I had my insecurities here. All these stupid thoughts that you have as a child or as a teenager, they're all still there. But now I'm coming back as someone who's grown. Now I'm coming back as someone who's not had his thoughts define him. And that's exactly what you should do. So wherever you're from, whatever whatever people have told you in the past, whatever people tell you right now, do not allow it to define you. Let your actions define you. And no, you do not need to have a proper mindset. You literally need to physically do the right things. Ideally, you follow a proven path, so the mindset matters even less. And what you'll do then is you'll return to your hometown or to your home city or to your home house where you grew up in. And you feel that you're still the right person. But the outside results are completely different. Man, this is literally like, literally my office. I've been taking a walk now, showed you a little bit of the view, all that while working, while replying to clients, while managing my team. That's, that's, this is it. This is life, man. F yeah. Check this glacier out. <laughs> Gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. And every time I come here and I see this amazing, where is it? Glacier right here in the back. I remember looking up on this glacier. And I remember thinking that this is where I'll grow up, right here, and this is where I'll die. And just discovering through the internet and through my first mentors that there is another world out there was so goddamn unreal for me. And then getting closer to that other world and just glimpsing into a tiny little bit of possibilities. Hey, Max, you can step up. Hey, Max, you can change. Hey, Max, you can get closer to your goal. That thing blew my mind so fundamentally that I started implementing the right things. And maybe, maybe, okay, this video is tight. I'm getting, what, a thousand views, two thousand per video on these videos. Maybe this video is going to be that just for you. Maybe just for one person, that would be really, really amazing. Maybe you're going to watch this video and you glimpse into what's possible and then you take a little bit of action and then you're executing and you're getting results. And then from that result, it's almost like it's almost like like a tiny little bit of a plant that is coming out of the soil. All of a sudden, the plant starts growing and maybe the, the plant starts getting a beautiful flower and it's colorful and you'll come back to your hometown and you'll realize that you've grown. You've outgrown your thoughts. You've outgrown your negativity. You've outgrown your haters and your doubters and the real world results are speaking for you. So whatever it is that you want in life, maybe freedom, maybe you want to be your own boss, maybe you want to be wealthy, it is out there for you to get. And yes, your thoughts and your your, your environment and maybe even your friends, but most importantly, your own self-doubt is going to try to screw you over. But you shall move your feet. You shall walk up on that mountain, follow the proven path, and you'll prove your own thoughts wrong. And those thoughts will always be there. But at the very least, you're going to get results and you get to live the life that you get to live. And I don't take any of this for granted. I'm saying this many times and I keep saying it. You think this is cool, me driving up in a, in, in, in a nice rental car that I could never afford back in the days? You think I'm enjoying the fact that I'm traveling the world, that I'm surrounded by beautiful people? Yes, I am. And you think this is not a big deal? It totally is a big deal because I would have never ever in my wildest dreams thought that I could ever do that. But I'm doing it. And that's just absolutely fantastic. And no day passes where I'm not just lying in bed and I'm eternally grateful for having had the opportunity to take action maybe having possessed the opportunity to implement the right steps. So I hope that this video could maybe open your eyes a little bit, all right? And when you say this sounds great, you wanna step it up, you wanna take action, you wanna become your own boss, you wanna be free, then you can tap that link that we put in the description down below. You can book a free consulting call either with me directly or with an expert from our team, all right? And you've probably seen our clients' results many, many times, all those clients' results have literally started with that same free consulting call that I'm offering for you now. So the way this works is you click the link, um, brings you to a page. You can feel free to read through the page for some more information. And then at the bottom of the page, there is an application. You fill it out, takes you two minutes. Then you can book the exact date and time or where you want us to call you. Now, you know, you're going to be talking to a real person. This is not some bot funnel or something. You'll be talking to a real person on the phone, meaning since we're human beings, we cannot do a lot of calls a day so we have limited spots and also you do have to fill out the application 
because we don't grant anybody that call. Okay, we have a very high sift out rate right now, simply because you know I'm in a position where I can say no to a lot of people that I don't want to work with, even if they offer me money. Sometimes I got people offering me a lot of money, and they get angry when I still say no. So that's all I'm asking for: for you to fill out that application if you want to have the free consulting call with us. And on that call, we'll be looking at your situation. We're looking at where you want to go and we'll help you bridge that gap. We'll see how exactly you can go there. We'll tell you the exact steps that you need to go there. And if you want to become our client, you want to, you know, you don't want us to help you. We can discuss that on the call as well. So signing off now from absolutely gorgeous Austria. Thank you very much for everything and talk soon. Bye-bye. Hey, what's up FBM members? Just made my first close this past week. $1,500 total, $750 in my bank account. So extremely excited about that. It was a grind at times, but it was definitely worth it. And it's really awesome, really inspiring. It just makes me think like what else is possible. So, and that's what I'm looking forward to, you know, in the near future is just consistently, you know, reach out to people and do the exact same thing and replicate this process and just get better and better. And it's amazing where my imagination is going, like what I think I could do now. So Really, really excited for the future. And um, for all you guys out there in the group, the coaches, thank you guys so much. And for all the new members, uh, definitely follow what the coaches say because it definitely works. So you'll get there.